two-step verification will secure your account better than it is right now. What it does is it causes your account to have to have a second form of identification to be able to get into the account. So normally you would use your username and password to log into the account and two-step would cause a second step to happen after you put in your username and password. The second step could be a text message sent to your phone, it could be a voice message sent to your cell phone or your office phone, or it could be a code that is synchronized to a Google Authenticator app on your smartphone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the steps on how to set up two-step verification. It's pretty simple, but you have to follow these steps to be able to set it up. Once you're logged into your Gmail account, what you're going to do is you're going to look in the top right corner and you'll either have a picture icon or your email address there. Go ahead and click on the picture or the email address and a drop down menu appears. Just above view profile you'll click on account. On the account page you're going to click the security tab across the top. Here we have our two-step verification in this box over here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on setup right next to two-step verification. This is a brief description that tells you what two-step verification is. To continue, click on Start Setup. Here you're asked to log in just to verify that someone didn't come to your computer while you stepped away. Once you enter your password, click Sign In, and you are now in your two-step setup process. Here you're going to enter in your phone number and then you're going to choose how do you want the code sent to you. Would you like it sent as a text message or would you like it sent as a voice call? For this demonstration I'm going to choose a voice call so you can hear it call my phone. So here we go. So I'll click on send code and in a moment I'm going to hear my phone ring and there it is. And as I pick up the phone I'm going to listen to the six digit code that is given to me. So enter the code that was given to me over the phone, and now I click Verify. At this point, I'm asked if I want to trust this computer. If I put a check mark here in it where it says trust this computer, then for the next 30 days, it's not going to ask me to put in a six-digit code. Once that 30 days is up, I will log in, and it will ask for that code. We're going to click on Confirm to confirm our two-step verification setup. So now you have set up two-step verification on your Gmail account, but you may be accessing your Gmail account from a smartphone or an iPad or an iPhone. So what you need to do is you need to reconnect those apps. If you're using a smartphone and you're accessing it through the web browser, there's nothing you need to do. It will prompt you as you try to log into your Gmail through your web browser, it's going to ask for that second step of verification and it'll send you a text message or the voicemail, whichever one you set. If you're trying to access your Gmail through a app, such as the native app on an iPhone, you're going to have to reconnect your apps and it will give you a 16 digit all lowercase code that you can put in one time. So you put it into your device one time and you don't have to verify that device again. So I'm going to click on reconnect my apps and here I'm going to choose the app that I want. So let's say I wanted to set up a mail app for my iPad. I would choose that option, click on generate, and now here in the yellow I have a 16 digit code all lowercase letters no spaces I know spaces are here but don't enter the spaces in there the next thing you would do is you would follow these directions go to your iPad open the settings mail contacts select your Google account from the list and edit your account information replacing this 16 digit code with the password once you click on done now your iPad or your iPhone whatever device you set this up for has this second step verification and you never have to put it in again for that specific device on that specific app unless of course you upgrade your phone. I can click done here. Now the last thing that I want to show you is you can print out a set of 10 one-time use codes. This might be useful if you're going to be in an area where you won't have your cell phone or you won't have that other device to be able to receive the, the six-digit code. 
So to print out a list of 10 one-time use codes on this page, you're going to click settings right after two-step verification. You're going to scroll to the bottom and you're going to see backup codes. You can click on this print or download and a list of six, sorry, a list of 10 backup codes will be generated for you. These are one-time use codes. So when you use them, I would check it off the list because uh, they can't be used again. All right, hopefully you now have your two-step verification set up and you're ready to go with a more secure account.